Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bone show. The Rock and Review is honored to bring you a country music legend that has gotten platinum and gold albums, so many awards, including, I believe, the Music Hall of Fame in Alabama. It is William Lee Golden. William, thanks for coming on the show. It's good to be with you here, Eric. And, uh, you know, I've got this new book that we're talking about here today. I've got a new project with uh, the Oak Ridge Boys, the Front Porch Singing album. I've got five major projects I've completed in the past year. Uh, three albums with my sons. I got four sons and three right. of them have helped me in the studio playing music and singing harmonies with me. And we've cut 32 songs in the studio with my boys and then 12 with the Oak Ridge Boys. So 44 songs uh, plus a new book. It's been a busy year for me. <laughs> well, you are always such a busy man. And you and I were talking, William Lee, before we started the interview. And, and one of the many things I've always admired about you is uh, the pursuit of your passions, you know, and you touch on so many of them in your new book, Behind the Beard. But, you know, so many people just know you as uh, the iconic, you know, gospel and country music artist that you are bringing the baritone harmonies, but they don't realize all the other facets of your life like your photography, like your painting, and, uh, you know, so many things that you follow and do all the time, besides going into the studio, brand new album, always on the road touring. Um, and I, I really love how the book touches on so much more of your life and things that I learned about you included when you were growing up as a young child in rural Alabama and started yeah. out singing with your sister. Right. My sister was a little older. She was three, four years older, and uh, she played mandolin. I learned to play rhythm guitar when I was six, seven, eight years old, and uh, we'd play and sing. We'd play country songs. Uh, we'd sing a duet, you know. Uh, my sister's a great talent, great singer, and had a great keen ear for music. She'd help me keep my guitar tuned but, uh, when I was real little, but Anyhow, we would sing country songs like uh, Lugan Brothers songs, mm -hmm. Kitty Wells songs, Hank Williams songs, Roy Acuff songs, old grand old opera singer songs is uh, kind of how we grew up as little kids on the farm. With that battery radio that we had uh, on the farm, for the first few years, you know, we didn't have electricity when I was real little till I was about six. And, uh, but we had the battery radio and it was, that coming out on the weekend with uh, the Grand Ole Opry brought it all alive in our little shack out there in the farm. And, but it was, that's the music that uh, inspired me. It would come alive in our little home there. And uh, it was exciting. You know, my grandmother would get to moving around and dancing around with them hillbilly songs. And, but it was, uh, that's where I got my start when I was young. And uh, through the years, you know, uh, well, this book goes into a whole lot of my story that a lot of people don't know about. I, uh, I've been married four times. All my wife's pictures are in there. My first wife was able to share with Scott, you know, her side of the story of what our relationship was and about my unfaithfulness. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, which I was, and uh, and I fell in love with a friend of my wife's, and uh, that's all in there. Uh, my wife shared her side of the story, and it was pretty graphic. I learned things that I didn't know about when she was, uh, her and my girlfriend got together and decided that they'd set me up and find out who I really loved, and all that story's in there, but... Uh, Anyhow, it's, it's stuff that happened, and I allowed Scott to talk to my ex-wives, my partners. You know, the Oak Ridge boys had a breakup. I said, talk to them about it. Right. We'll all talk about it, see what right. happened. You know, that it was their decision. It wasn't mine, and uh, right. so get their side of the story. And, uh, hey, I've, I've made mistakes. I'll be the first one to tell you. I've had way too much fun at times, but it was all in the thing of having fun. It wasn't to try to hurt anybody. 
if you're really open-minded, you can learn something every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, you never quit growing. My daddy told me that a man never gets too old to build muscles. I mean, if you if you stay active, right. you build muscles. If you don't, you lose muscles. So mm -hmm. you got to stay active. I do sit-ups every day. I do 100, 150 sit-ups, wow. 25 at a time. But I sit there until I finish six reps. And uh, But I've done that. It helps me sing better. Mm-hmm. You know, it's your diaphragm up and it makes it flow out rather than just sitting there and trying to put all the work on you right here. You know, it's it's, right. it's got to come from way inside you and let it all flow out. But I do that and I get out and walk three or four miles some days. And so it's to keep myself active. Mm -hmm. It keeps me energized. And the more active I get, the more energized I get. And at my age, I like that. You know, I I, I got to bring this up though too. The pictures in here are just amazing. Just like the uh, photo of you on the front of your granddad's truck, and then in your early bands that you were in, you know, with the clean cut look, everybody with the matching shirts, and and through the many incarnations of the Oak Ridge Boys that you've been a part of, and and really you you have such an iconic look, William Lee, to where you know when anybody sees you, they automatically know, okay, that's the Oak Ridge Boys. There's William Lee. I cut 44 songs last year, 12 with the Oak Ridge Boys and 32 songs with my sons. We cut old gospel songs. We did an old album of, of old traditional country songs, classic mm -hmm. country, songs like uh, Johnny Cash's I Still Miss Someone. The old song of Fair and Young had Four Walls and then uh, an old uh, Jim Reeves song, Welcome to My World. Oh, yeah. Fletcher uh, Rhodes and John Denver song. We also cut, uh, you know, me and Bobby McGee. We cut uh, The Long Black Veil, just a lot of old classic country songs. And then we cut an album of country rock songs, songs that I cut The Long and Winding Road, the Paul McCartney Beatles song. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris cut Southern Accent, which is a Tom Petty song. Right. Rest, Rusty Cup, Bob Seeger's Hollywood Nights. And Craig sang uh, a Greg Allman classic, uh, Multicolored Lady. These visions started coming. All these old songs kept flooding in my mind. I couldn't get them out of my mind. Day and night, I'd wake up this old song. I got my boys together. I said, boys, I've been having a vision to do this for two years now. Let's do it. It's the perfect time. So let's come over and let's sing. We got here and got to pre-production on all this stuff. And it's just exhilarating. It got us out of it. It was a healing thing, man. It, mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritual healing for us. Uh, my sons lost their mother last year, just before we started recording. And uh, and we sang some of those old gospel songs. You know, if I could hear my mother pray again. and Songs like Come and Dine, it's just old-timey country gospel songs that I grew up singing. But I took them back to where I came from right. and uh, to the tapestry of my life, the influences in my life. And I got them to go visit that and let's play it and sing it. They harmonized, played the music, and I'm so proud of what we've done. Wait, do you think th this music will be released later this year or next year? Yeah, or what do you think, it'll be out this year. We're going to release it uh, coming in the early fall. We'll start. Uh, we're going to be releasing it in three to four different areas. We've got a gospel album, an old traditional classic country album, and a country rock, more pop country rock album. And uh, it's going to be pushed in three to four different areas. The Americana market, the... Uh, and the country market and the gospel market. So it's, uh, I'm excited because what we've created is totally unique. It's a sound like it's not, it's not out there right now, but it's, it's so hot and so cool, man. It's just, it's, I'm excited about it. Never been so excited about something as what's going on right now. It's just so amazing. But, you know, like you said too, William Lee, it was a great way for you and your sons to heal during this hard time. But I think also when the music comes out, 
it'll be a healing, just like your book. I think, you know, so many people have asked me about your book, Behind the Beard. And I mean, you know, it seems like a healing for you to share it with other people so that they have a better understanding of who you are as a person and the journey you've made and where you're at now. Exactly. So that's what the book does. It goes back to where I began. Actually, before I began, pictures of my family, you know, my daddy was a triplet. And uh, it was Matthew, Mark, and Luke, little baby boys. And so my daddy was Luke. He was a third triplet. So uh, I'm the son of Luke. (laughs) That is just amazing. Well, I want to bring this up, too, because I know you guys are going to be, you've already been out on tour with the Oak Ridge Boys. The bus is on the road. You're on the road. Will you be doing book signings and everything? And I know that our viewers may want to get a signed copy from you. Because I know next time I see you, you're going to have to sign my copy of Behind the Beard. Okay. But, uh, but where, do, where do viewers need to go, William Lee? WilliamLeeGoldenBook.com. All one word, WilliamLeeGoldenBook.com. You can also go to Amazon. Pretty easy. Now, I will guess. you have them out on tour also? Will they be at the merch table? We do. We have them at the merch table on the road. So I sign every day. and uh, I sign uh, normally past month here i've had to sign three or four hours every week so uh it's like it's like a workout it's just like your setups and walking three to four miles you got to go in and sign so many books and everything to keep your fans happy yeah well it's and again a workout then i can come sit for a three or four <laughs> hours signing books <laughs> you and scott england did such a great job on this william lee and uh and what an incredible statement you know with your life and as you are continuing to uh, create with your with your music, with your paintings, with your photography, it's just a great book. Behind the Beard, William Lee Golden, thank you so much for coming on The Rock Interview and talking with us. Eric, thank you. Love to come back sometimes. Enjoy talking again. Sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bone Show. 